Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on creating a Postman collection using Swagger Specs. If you are working with APIs, you are probably familiar with the importance of having a robust and efficient way to test and document them. In this video, I will guide you through the process of creating the Postman collection from Swagger Specs step by step. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to streamline your API development process or simply uh, or just the testing process um, with ease. So let's get started. So um, let me open the Visual Studio solution, which I cloned from one of the open source projects on GitHub. Uh, I will provide the link to that repo in the description. But for the demonstration purpose, this is a simple um, clean architecture API where there are a bunch of dummy controllers, like base API controller, then cities controller, district login, village, and weather forecast. So let me run this. As you can see, um, this is a clean architecture API swagger page and traditional way of testing this API or debugging this API is like you will click on authorize, you provide the token that you got uh, using this login controller and then close this window and navigate to your appropriate API controller, then navigate to your endpoint, click here, fill out the required parameters or a body, and then click on execute. Now, this is really a good approach if you just need to test this once, but if there are chances where you need to, I mean, if there are cases where you need to repeat this operation again and again, let's say you are debugging a bug or you are just working on a feature development which needs uh, this process again and again, which want, I mean, which needs you to repeat this process again and again. Uh, in that case, this is going to be a tired some work. So that is where we have Postman collections, which are really useful. So Postman collections are nothing but the group of requests, similar to how you saw on the Swagger page. So in order to create the collection from the specs, you first need to go to the specs. So if you look at this Swagger page here, uh, there is a link to this JSON document. So if you open this up, this is nothing but the metadata about your API, meaning this is a description of your API, meaning uh, what kind of model it uses, what kind of endpoints, and then what is expected, what should the response be like, and all of the information is here in terms of metadata. So I will show you like how to create the collection out of these specs. So first, save this json document to whatever directory you like um, for example i have just saved it onto the same solution folder here and once you save that i want you to go to postman right and there are multiple ways to create this uh, collection so either you can just go to this collection and import it here or you can just come to this api import it here and it can accept the file drop as well. So let's do that. So I'm going to drag my JSON file, which I saved uh, in here. And then it is giving me two options here, whether I want to just import it as a traditional Postman collection, or I want to import along with the definition where it is more like supporting Open API 3.0. And if you look at the bottom, there are some settings that you can tweak while importing this. For example, um, how do you want this request to be organized? Right. In some cases, you may want to keep just path. And in some cases, if you are doing a feature development and if your endpoints are tagged with some sort of tags, uh, in that case, you may want to group them by tags. Otherwise, path is what I'm going to keep it for now. But these options are available if you want to tweak the import of this collection. So I'm going to keep it open API 3 with Postman collection and let's hit it. All right. So as you can see, it just imported the uh, API collection. Now, this was already there from my previous work, but let's take a look at this. So this is how it imports your uh, Swagger specs as a collection into Postman. So as you can see, this is all about your API. This is all 
a metadata about API, which explains like what kind of authorization it uses and what should the request body be like, uh, what the response would look like, and then all the API endpoints. So if you click on any of those, it should just come up here with the appropriate information that you have added as part of your code. Now, this is just a root file showing the metadata. Now the actual collection lives here. So as you can see, we selected to keep the path uh, while importing it. So as I mean, these are all your controllers, right? And you can see it matches to the name base API, cities, district, village, and login. Right? Cities, district, login, village, and this is probably some dummy controller that they have. So this is how you will be able to import this collection. Uh, in the next series, I will show you how to execute this uh, API calls from Postman and how to set up it properly so you don't have to repeat the operations. Uh, we just repeat it on the web UI for Swagger. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future tutorials like this. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.